Have you ever felt death by PowerPoint? I know I have. There's one simple way to solve that problem, stories. Coming up next on Project Skills Mentor. You know, I believe project management is a life skill, not just a work skill. And part of that is embracing the user journey in the form of storytelling. Forget PowerPoints, that's passe. You're not gonna grab your audience, whoever they are, with a great PowerPoint, but you will with a great story. Let me tell you the whys and the hows of it. And with links below, you can get into more detail. In fact, you can download my storytelling guide so you can build your own story. Six things you can do. First, start with your audience in mind. Is that audience going to be your team, stakeholders, your end user, or someone else? Keeping the audience in mind is important because a story that compels them is going to include them. Next, think about what you want to tell and how you want to tell it. So are you telling a journey story, a story about an end product, envisioning that great product in a Steve Jobs sort of scenario, or are you doing something else, sharing your idea? And that comes to the next point, your idea or your theme. Pick one. Every story has one great theme in it. You can have compelling anecdotes, backup data, sure, but have one great idea. The theme needs to be clear, brought in the beginning, the middle, and the end of your story. Next, as part of that, you need to share the path. So in the middle of the story, with your hero in mind, your audience or your product user, be clear about their ups and downs and the challenges they've overcome and focus on the positive at the end. So you're going to want them to see how all challenges are overcome or with the new product, their life becomes better. Find the remarkable. Everybody wants to see a future that's brighter than today. Everyone wants to be the hero. So make it remarkable, that makes it memorable. And finally, focus on the end. Your end theme needs to be conclusive and believable. If people think this is a fairy story, they're not going to see it as the vision you want it to be. Include facts and data where necessary, make it believable, and make it their story, a story they can retell a story they can take home to their families. Everyone wants to be proud of the work they do, but also a story that they think about every day and can live and relive that compelling end so they know their why in their journey. So, I hope you found these six points helpful. Again, there are links below to my blog, the downloadable, and the video that talks about how to make a great story. Hopefully you'll check those out. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you again on ProjectSkillsMentor.com. Bye everybody, thanks.